NASA has achieved a historic milestone by successfully bringing back samples from an asteroid named Bennu. In the operation at Uttar Desert, NASA and the US Air Force collaborated to recover a space capsule containing samples of asteroid collected by OSIRIS-REx spacecraft in 2020. The OSIRIS-REx probe, after a journey of over 6.2 billion kilometers, released its sample return capsule while it was approximately 1 lakh kilometers above Earth. This capsule contained about 250 grams of rocks and other materials from Bennu which could hold key answers to questions about the origins of life on Earth and the early solar system. The capsule reached a speed of up to 43,450 km per hour and its heat shield experienced temperature as high as 2,900 degrees Celsius during its descent through Earth's atmosphere. Although the capsule deployed its main parachute at a higher altitude than expected, it appeared to land safely. The drogue chute likely deployed but was not visible on monitoring cameras. The entire descent from the edge of the atmosphere to the Uttar Desert took less than 10 minutes, concluding a remarkable 6.2 million kilometers journey. The OSIRIS-REx mission with a budget of $1 billion launched in 2016, arrived at Bennu in 2018, then landed and collected samples of the asteroid in 2020 after orbiting it for two years. After capsule landed, experts thoroughly examined the capsule and confirmed it was intact with no breaches. Following this assessment, the capsule was airlifted to a temporarily clean room at the US Army's Dugway providing ground. Once safely inside the facility, the capsule was opened and the canister containing the precious Bennu samples were prepared for transportation. These asteroid materials will be loaded onto an aircraft and flown to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, where a newly constructed facility, the agency's Astro Materials Research and Exploration Science Division, which awaits their arrival. This successful landing and recovery marked the climax of a seven-year mission filled with surprises. When the spacecraft reached Bennu in 2018, scientists discovered that it is resembled a pile of gravel and rubble rather than a solid rock. Consequently, they had to reprogram the spacecraft to land in an area significantly smaller than its originally intended landing site. While OSIRIS-REx marked NASA's first-ever asteroid sample collection mission, Japan's space agency JAXA has already accomplished two such missions. The first, Hayabusa 1 collected materials from asteroid Itokawa and successfully returned them in 2010. Following that, Hayabusa 2 achieved the collection and returned the samples from asteroid Ryugu in 2020. This achievement is not only a significant milestone for NASA but also a momentous event for scientific exploration. Thanks for watching.